Hello, family. Um, we are coming from our Bridget Creek PDX location. I got my chart in the back. And we also have Brian here with some of our other coaches from the Portland Creek PDX. Um, we're also representing our family at Portland Creek Lafayette and uh, the Club Sports. So, today we're going to give you an upper body workout. This is going to be top down, kind of like the downward ladder effect. We're going to start with 20 reps of each, going to 15, 10, and then 5. This is literally going to forge your upper body. It's going to be intense. Um, I also have with me some cleaners today to add resistance. So I know a lot of you at home probably don't have dumbbells, or if you try to order some a few times recently, it's insane and in the community. Anywhere. So um, I have brought in some bathroom cleaner. And then some windex. So if you guys have something like this, or your dish detergent, or laundry detergent, or whatever you have to add just a little bit of resistance, so we can kind of keep that tone in our arms and a little bit of uh, strength and muscle building. Um, we have the same as well. <laughs> All right. So our first move is dolphin push-ups. So you can these down. You can go around the other and grab whatever you have. You can put this on pause. Go do that. That's what you do too. All right, so this is similar to a downward facing dog, but we're going to be on our forearms instead. So we're really going to be more even triceps. So hands are going to be planted in, and then you're going to use your tricep to press up and release down. Make sure your head is face down, mine's facing towards you, so I can explain what we're doing. So we have 20. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, woo, four, six, eight, halfway through. Five more. Dance, honey. Woo, baby. Holy triceps. Holy triceps. We're doing it already. We're already. Wow, I'm really doing it. We're going to take a few seconds. Shake it off. Get out of your system. Tap your arms, make sure they're still alive. <laughs> I kind of started sliding on my mat, so sometimes it helps when you have two shoes to kind of keep you steady. We're working on socks. We're both wearing socks. I don't know why. Okay, now we're going to go into supination bicep curls. This is where we're going to ask for resistance. So, skating up. You're basically going to be isolating that bicep muscle. So, really curling in here nice and tight. And releasing, switching sides, like so. We have 20. Are you ready, Mike? I'm ready. Okay, I'm first side. Here we go. Woo. These are some pretty impressive weights we are working on here. Woo. Make sure you get that nice squeeze every time. You can slow it down too. If you are holding on to something that's heavier, then I recommend you go slower. So it's a really pump it out. I kind of lost the record. I don't even know what I mean. I think this is nine. Just say nine. It's all good, right? It's so good. Yeah, okay. Ten, halfway through. Twenty more. Twelve. Bicep hurt. It's hurting. I think we're on 15. Eight million. Here we go. 17. 18. 19. Last one. Make it count. And 20. Nice. All right. Point your biceps down. Good job, guys. Good work today. Let it go. Shake it loose. Get rid of all that. All right. Next, we're going into count our circles. So you're welcome to add resistance to this if you wish. 
But I promise you, you would probably get a burn out arms regardless if you have resistance or not. So we're just going to bring the arms out straight and you can make little baby circles going clockwise or you can make big circles however you like and that is your move. So we're going to go ahead and start going. We have 20 forward. We're never going to go 20 back. No break in between. We're just going to do it. These are quicker. Quick right out. Halfway through. 15, 14, and 16. And reverse, 21. That's right, no break. Just push through. See, halfway. Nineteen and twenty. Woo! Do the do. The arms are good for it. Okay? Yeah, it's a good bird. Yeah, it's a good bird. No, it's a good bird. You like it. Woo! I'm getting good. Good grip. Good chat. Alright, so now we're going into a bicep curl with a static pull. So we're going to pick up our sources of resistance, whatever that is for you. We're going to hold one arm static, like so, so about a 90 degree angle. And then the other arm, you can either do a camera curl, depending on the awkwardness of whatever you're holding, or you can go into a full bicep curl, like so. I'm going to do a camera curl for this because it's kind of off balance, but you choose you. All right, so are you ready? Ready. All right, we're going to go 20 first with the right arm, switch 20 with the left. Here you go. Maybe you guys have um, like a six pack candy. <laughs> Maybe balls of wine laying around. Those add good resistance too. Ten halfway through. Woo. The other arm is getting some work as well. Five more. Sixteen. Seventeen. Nineteen and twenty. No rep switch. Oh man. Are you guys holding up? You can let me know. I'll message you later. And 10, halfway. Woo! Try not to rock your body. It's easier to do when we start to get kind of tired. Two more. And 20. Woo! Oh, there's that burn. Let it go. Let it go. Alright, we're going to go back into working on our triceps. We have one more move, and then we can do this all over again. Yeah! Alright, so, you can either do this for two, or one makes it resistant. I'm going to use just this one, because it's kind of awkward. It's all over the way, it's weird. We're going to go to tricep position. So, arms are going up overhead. We're bending at the elbows and pressing up. Make sure your elbows are not extended out. Keep everything in. You guys ready? Let's bust out 20. Here we go. One. Halfway through. Here we go. This one seems like easier all along. Anyways, how do you feel, Brian? Is this easy for you? No, everything has its challenge. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Let it go. Oh, that was great. We had such a great time doing that. All right, now we're on two. We're going to 15. Oh my gosh, we're doing it again. Okay, so into your dolphin push up pose. Get your weights out of the way. Back again. Back again. You only have 15 this time. You can take that five. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, get into position. Let's go. 15. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get worse. No one really gets me. Who's high? 
way long, ready for just kind of burn out those arms. All right, let's go ahead. Get into our synchronization curls. 15 all together, right? Ready. All right, let's just do the down there. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five more. And let's do one more just to make it even. Sixteen. There we go. Even and all. You got that weird there. All right. Now we're going to get into arm circles. Keep pressing it down. Let's just jump into it. Fifteen. Here we go. Five more. Twelve. And reverse. Other way. This is one of my favorite rooms, not gonna lie. This goes away. Or deep and 15. Woo! Alright. Give a little shake. Let it go. Jump into the static hold of your bicep curls. Hold up your weight. We'll start on the right side. There we go. 15. Remember, you can do hammer curls or regular bicep curls. Whatever the object allows you to do with your whole thing again. Nine, ten, five more. Woo! Oh, two birds. Last one. All right, switch. Oh my gosh, I'm going to hear my break off. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's ready. He's excited. He's going. I need a baby. I'm right, two. <laughs> I'm just watching him. Four. Eight. Ten. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Chris Wall. You see it's getting bigger just by the second. He's so small right now. You guys. Yeah, yeah. He's getting there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go into our own head of ice extensions. Press it up. Keep those elbows locked in. Here we go. 15. Seven. Eight. 10, oh, 11, 13, 14, 15. Got it. Let it go. All right. Let's do two more rounds. Two more rounds. Two more rounds. As our reps get shorter, our break is also going to get shorter. We don't need a long break if we're going to do the reps. Okay. So here we go. We're going to do all the push ups. 10. You need it down. Four arms out, keep it down. Come on, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm excited. All right, good, let's go. Ten. Oh, let's go. Did he get ten? That's you. He's cheating. He's cheating. All right, so, jump up. Stupid Asian bicep curls. Ten, five on each arm. Here we go. Squeeze it. Make it tight. Eight, nine, ten. All right, right arm circles. Squeeze those down. I'm out. Let's go. Ten. Nine and ten and reverse. You can kind of dance there this one if you like. When I get some food room on. I should stop talking, but I never roll. Ten! Alright, good work. Here we go. Always fun. Positive and static curls. Or static hold by the curls. Here we go. Starting with our right arm. Ten. Here we go. Two. Three. Seven, eight, 
nine, 10, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Give me one second to shake it out. So I'm going to give you some first. Yeah, trust me. All right, here we go. Chest up. Get it up. Ten. Get the elbows in. I'm going to do that every time. One, two, I won't count four, five, nine, and ten. Okay, we have a long round. This is a power round. This is a speed round. You only have five reps before each move. We're just going to bust through it. No rest in between. Give your seconds to shake it out. You can do this on pause. Please feel free to. Otherwise, we're going to get down to business. Okay? Here we go. Five, go through the push ups. Come up and go. Five. All right, spin it up. Let's get our supination bicep curls in. Let's do fun again for our arms. For fun. Here you go. All right. One, two, two. Three, two more on each side. And five. Good. Release going into five arm circles. Both sides. Here we go. One. And reverse. Good. All right. We need to do a step and hold with a bicep curl. Get your hold on. Get your curl on. Here we go. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and switch. Three, four, five. Release from an empty overhead chest extension. Point up overhead and go. Two, three, four, five. Good work. Good job. Good job. We're done. I hope you guys enjoyed that much workout. I hope you're not able to reach the things in the cupboard for a couple days. All right, you guys have a great day.